It's Zelda. Zelda Bella. Chirpy Derpy. How about if we do boxes and then we'll bring the babies out and show them to you and then I'll bring um, Thomas out and Coralie and um, Elma and show you. Okay. Hi everybody. Hope you're all yeah, hope you're all doing wonderful. And thanks to just me, MK, Mudgy, Nance, Sonia, and S V Kathy for being our awesome mods. I yeah, the butterfly class. Yay! I was wondering. I think we'll do the butterfly class box first. And uh, that way we've we've gotcha here while you're here. Okay. That this is the calico torty tiger <laughs> that is um um oh oh my gosh Emma Jo, Emma jo. thank you oh my gosh when my brain when I'm tired my brain slows down um yeah that's yeah. Emma Jo and um I think the quickest way to tell the difference because I think a lot of people are getting mixed up with Emma Jo and Fondant is Fondant has a uh, kind of a white tip tail most of the way around. Yeah. Yep. And the Daisy June is here. Oh, Amy's okay. here. Barb is here. Go on, paper. Come on. And they know what happened to you, Barb. Oh, oh she said. I've been fast. She hmm? told you. Told okay. Oh, okay. Poor, poor Barb is here. Got rain, got snowed out in uh, Chicago. And they knew you fell, obviously. Yeah. Then she fell. Poor thing. And hurt her arm, got a boo boo arm and her other wrist and her both of her knees. That was really awful. You could just call me Klutz. Yeah. But we'll just squeaking. we'll just call you. We're glad you're here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna she fell, Sunny. All right, we got kitties everywhere. So let's do our butterfly class one first. I'm so excited. Yeah, I didn't open that one. Now um, yeah, I think that I can open this. I know some of this is for other people, right? I think Butterfly Class Teacher. Yeah, this is the one from Belgium. You believe that? All the way from our Butterfly Class friend. International, right? Is a yeah, here's another one from Japan. Ooh, I got cold, cold chills tonight. Ooh, look at this. This is from our Belgium friend. Okay, now this is the one we're going. I'm going to get to a very special person, and I'll uh, make sure that person gets it. And then this is to the volunteers from the butterfly class. Oh, this one's, oh, this one's got my name on it. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> these children have an awesome teacher. And uh, butterfly teacher, I just think you are wonderful. <gasps> Look at that. Sweet. Oh, my gosh. See, I can imagine them making this. And this is a keychain. This is going to go in one of my trucks. Well, one's the FFRC truck and one's my truck. We'll put it in the FFRC truck. Zelda Belda it's, a, it's a butterfly for our butterfly class. There you go. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my Jeep. I love that. I'm going to put that in my pocket. And then this is for the... <laughs> Oh, and this is for Sierra. Oh, she will love this. She will love it. Here, you stay there. Let me just keep this so we don't lose anything. <laughs> I don't think so, Yelda. Here. I think so. <laughs> no ribbons for you, girl. Yeah, no ribbons for you. Maybe we'll give this to June. So nobody gets that ribbon. That's and so one. these are for the volunteers. And there's different necklaces. Look at that. The kids made these. And different butterflies. 
15. So will, uh, um, Butterfly Teacher, will you tell all the children? Oh, and here's some bracelets. Will you tell the children that I will for sure get this out to everybody? There's there's more bracelets. And, and a pin that's a flower. <laughs> Dina, you would like this especially too because you're a teacher. Oh, you know what? I think these are not a bracelet. I think these are the um, necklaces too. You just take the band off. Aww. Isn't that neat? That's really sweet. Nice. That's very special. It is. Very, very, very special. A flower tag. Oh, on that um, tag that's on there, let's put that on here. So, very cute. Yeah. It did a good job. It's fun to get some, some stuff like this. Oh, there's a piece down there, do you? Do you want to put this in the volunteer's chair? Sure. All right. Thank Volunteers you. cage. Cage. When they're banned. Oh, I think we got a letter. I'm telling you, butterfly class teacher, you have the neatest handwriting. Hello, Jackie. Hello, volunteers. Hi, big boy to Rachel. We have made pillows and blankets for you. The teacher learned us how to make them without sewing or needlework, only making knots piece of a cake for us and so much fun to do. We have a new game in class. When the slideshow is coming, we do this. First round, we count ears. Second round, we count noses. Third round, we count legs. No, so waiting for the live stream is not boring anymore. Next time, you can play together with us. That's pretty cool. And, uh, teacher, you'll have to tell them that there's a new slideshow up, so it's going to be different now for them. We wish you all uh, a lot of FFRC fun. So nice to be part of the family. Big hugs to DeRachel and many greetings. And the, t the students are A-M-M-E-R-K-K -K and teacher. Six, seven. So there's seven students and teacher. This will get to go right smack on the front side of our fridge. Hang on. This hey, is a hug. I know your. I know the kids love to Rachel. They love them all, but I know to Rachel's high highest on the list. Oh my goodness. Butterfly teacher, if you when you see your kids, tell them that. I'll give the, the uh, DeRacho eight hugs, one for each of the kids and you. Yeah. Thank you for caring about our kitties. Mm -hmm. Let me help me see that. Yeah. 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 All right. We're going to put you there. So you're up a little higher. And look at this. Oh, Zelda says, I think I like it. And so these are the blankies. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. Oh my gosh. For DeRachel and his friends. For DeRachel and his friends. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, see all the, the, well, I guess I can call them stitches, even though they're not. That's really, really pretty. And I'm going to lay this one on the Rachel. Yeah, he's got it on there. So we have one, two, three. They made these. The student did. Oh, in a pillow. We've got three of them in a pillow. Aww. Thank you very, very, very much, Butterfly Class. This is pretty awesome. Every knot means a whole lot to me. Thank you so much. We'll put this right down here with the Rachel. Oh, Let me grab my phone real quick. Where's Mama go, Zelda? Rachel. Is that turned around? There. Is there. Rachel, smile for the kids. The Rachel. Rachel. Kitty, kitty, 
And oh, here's your Rachel. Let me do one more, honey. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Whoa. Should we do it one more time? Rachel. Rachel. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Wonderful. Oh. So, teacher, I'll send this to you to your email, and then you can share it with the kids. Yeah. Yeah, I got to see the pictures of those. Yeah, thank you so much. And I'll send that picture off to you. Um, if I get to you tonight, I will. If not, it'll be tomorrow morning. Yeah, thank you. You are an awesome teacher. We love teachers. Love teachers. Well, let's do the next one here. And love students, too. <laughs> um, yeah, they have a privacy thing at their school, as in many of them, so we don't share the pictures of the students, but we here can send our pictures to them, so that's what that's what we'll do. Yeah. Now this box is from uh, Mayumi, our friend from Japan, and she too has beautiful, ooh, beautiful handwriting. It says, "Hello, I am so happy to see you use Thule packs." At breakfast time, I lurk on Saturdays and Sundays. I send some more to replenish your su your stock so that Ginger can enjoy her midnight snack time too. You know, because when Ginger was here, she was she was snaking those tulies. I'd pull them. Usually, I didn't mind her taking the foils, but not the tulies because <laughs> they're so big. And I pull, and she pull, and I pull, but I she won sometimes. And I'm so happy to send you the smaller piece packs of chicken filet snack for one biters, like Magenta, who walks like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and I really love that. I also found Bonito and Tuna ones, so I'm going to send them next time soon. For human, I send two boxes of cookies. One is, cho oh my gosh, so these are, are biscuits. One is chocolate cookies with strawberry cream and the other is chocolate cookies with rich green tea cream. Oh, we'll oh, have to try these. I, miss my <laughs> I am quite sure they are yummy. <laughs> we'll put these in the volunteers pin too and um, share these out with everybody. Spring is surely coming, so please be patient and please, please take care. From FFRC Nation, Tokyo Branch, Mayumi. I love that. Tokyo Branch. And these are the snackers. Now, the kitties have not, this is different. Mayumi sent, oh my, she sent these um, things that look like steak fillets. Oh, look at these. We got to see what this is. Are you helping me? Ooh. Oh, look at that. Here, kitty. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Here. Oh, you want that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mayumi, I can tell you now, it's a, uh, it's a big hit. They're that meat. It's I think it's chicken. Here we'll give one to Emma Jo. What other kinds of things do they have? Uh, in here. Tuna. Um. Well, the the tule is tuna and tuna and tuna. Oh, I thought you said tuna and beluga. Oh, but oh, bonito. Oh, oh not beluga. So no. Oh yeah, I would have been too. Yeah. Beetle whale. The kitties love these two well, leaves. I like to add these into the breakfast. That's why they love me because I give them their two leaves. <laughs> so um, we will keep these maybe in there so we can dish these out for fun. Our snackers. Here we go. And then. Can I, can I give the, you these? These go on the counter in the storage room. Um, no, because I have her her information already. Okay. Yeah. 
So there's two boxes of tuna tule. Storage room on, on the counter. Storage room. Yeah. We dole those out very slowly. Yeah. Thank you, Mayumi. You're a gem. Okay. Hmm? Have you had those before? The tule? Oh, yeah. Heads up, guys. They never, never act like that scares them. I'm always so surprised. Yeah, they do. And this one is is from our friend Tiger Cat, who's greedy at Julie in Iowa. I think it's Iowa. That's coming from my memory bank, but I think it doesn't say. But I think it's Iowa, and it weighs three whole pounds. Oh, I see why. This is yep. This is from Aunt Julie. Tiger Cat, and it's snackers for the volunteers. Oh, and it's the Dorito and Lay's ones. Thank you, Julie. Appreciate it. Yep, we'll put every one of those to, to good use. Yeah, 20 singles. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. It's so nice that you all help us out with the snackers for the two-leggers, too. This goes in. Oh, did you job me time? Yep, you got it. Boy, these got these ladies that come, they're so well trained. <laughs> yeah, Barb trained June. <laughs> oh, Wrigley, heads up, guys. Here's Wrigley. Boy, that that Walter, he was just a little ornery boy today. Here, do you want that? You can help. I'll help. So who's oh never mind. Just those I think we have to do yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, that uh that Walter. Walter, Walter, Walter. Yep. Yeah. Hey, don't clean your food. He was really ornery. And you can't do anything but laugh, you know. This is from Jerry Cross. Hey Jerry Cross. Oh yes, sirree, this is good. Jerry, Jerry Cross sent us a big bag, 15 pound bag of dry Royal Cannon kitten food. And I appreciate this. We'll put this in the storage room because I'll, I'll use this right away. Kitten food, Royal Cannon, we needed it. Thank you very, very much, Jerry Cross. You know, I saw, um, and I think it was Elizabeth said too, or maybe it was Sarah. We both happened to catch a picture of, <laughs> of uh, um, Camby when she first came in. And, you know, after they've been here a while, you kind of forget how bad they look. And, oh, my gosh, she was so little, and her face looked so sad, and her eye looked so bad, and her nose looked so awful sore. I was so, I didn't, you know, you forget how, how, uh, how rough they can look when they first come in. So... I'm glad she looks like she does now. She's an awesome cat. You know, we've had thousands of cats through here, and <coughs> sometimes we have some that come in that really like the dogs, but Camby doesn't like the dogs. She loves, 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 loves the dogs. Sometimes you go in there, and it's Cammy and Camby and Janie, and they're just all squashed together there. And she's learned the click of the door for the dogs, and she runs in there, and when they come in from outside, she goes right in there with them like she's a, one of the doggies. She, she does. She loves Brandon. I know. I've seen that. Yeah, she's an awesome cat. Um, my hope is that when she completes all of her medicine that she'll do a lot better, be a lot better about this upper respiratory that she's always has had, and uh, we'll be able to get a home. These guys ate everything, including the top layer of the cardboard on that. So <laughs> thank you, Mayumi. Okay, this now you be careful up there. 
This box is from Bradley S. Bradley S. Oh. This, I love stuff like this. You, I'm going to put you down because I'm afraid. I just don't fall. I love stuff like this. You know that green thing that we bought? I think it's an alligator um, for the kitties that I got at the convention. This is another interactive feeder. And boy, you know who would be good at this is Bella. Yeah. Oh, Bradley. This is awesome. Here, let's get. She likes the other one. She does. She does. She gets that paw in there and just. You know, you could do it too. You can make them higher. You can. Yeah, and yeah, there's different heights of them, but you could also do without. So, you know, you can make just the dip too. Like so if you misplace one or whatever. Yeah, you can do it any old way. Bradley, we'll do this tonight. This is really cool. Our cats are so smart, they'll figure it out. Bella will teach them all. <laughs> or maybe she won't teach any of them. Who was it that went to the green one? Bella, wasn't it? Bella right and away. Zelda. Zelda did right away. My kitty. Yep. Of course you're right. Love my girl. <laughs> I love her. She's, I, I just, I think if I would have adopted her out, I'd have had to go on and got her. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> made her. Bradley, this is awesome. Isn't that neat? This will be fun. We'll put some um, snackers in there. Put that up there and fill that up with, some, with the Vegas snackers. Mm. No, no, I love, I love stuff like that for the cats. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Bradley. We'll put that down for tonight. It's, uh, what's the name of that, June? A I A I O U. Maybe show them the box? Yeah, that's how I do the best. A I K I O U. New, easy to fill, food grade plastic, dishwasher safe, new, easier to clean base. Slows down eating, helps reduce weight problems. A bowl which helps to reduce anxiety through play, encouraging better physical and mental health. Due to a very cold winter, my cats were terribly bored. <laughs> it is then that I remembered how they were trying to catch the mouse with their paws and invented the first stimulo. Cool. Thank you. He has a fixation. I bet it's weird. Dryer. Um, Fremont is over there again by the washer and dryer. He sits there for hours. I don't know if you can, there, you can see him. He'll sit there. I used to think, well, and I still do think he's looking. I think you must see his reflection. But he has to look up and it looks like he looks straight out. I don't know, but he'll sit there for hours and look at whatever he's doing. No, okay. his eyes are right on the shiny part. Is it? So he's looking in the reflection. Is that another kitty? That's funny. Love that boy. I don't think, don't think there could be a cat that has more love than what he's got, other than Zelda. I mean, really, he just, he gives it and he takes it. He's just, he's just awesome. And where, so somewhere... When he was outside at that road and barn area, he somebody had to have been yeah. super lovely to him. And same way with Wrigley. He just loves attention. He's funny. So this one came, I'm not sure. It doesn't say. So let's investigate. Oh, I know who this is from. Didn't she? I her to her soon, <laughs> you had okay. me all primed for a plane ride, and then you left me. This is from our wonderful friend. I'm going to have to move that. That Jack and the Beanstalk. 
Excuse me. Um, this is from our wonderful friend Jack Cat. Let me move the big box. Oops. Oh, Bob, you better not. I'll get it. There, I just said it here. Okay. And this, we're going to, we're, uh, this is to help us with our raffles, raffle drawings. And June, er, Jack Cat saw me struggling, mixing everything up, I guess, and losing some of the tickets. And <laughs> so, so she got us a really cool raffle, uh -huh. what, what do you call it, raffle, raffle wheel, raffle drum. No, I did. Oh, messed up. I like that. <laughs> this will be fun. And we will probably run another raffle next week. We have a lot of the... Um, Oh, shoot, I forget what we call those now. The big, big twin size blankies. But we have more oh, than what we even started with. That's cool. Yeah. So we've got to start moving those. Jack Cat, you are always on the ball. She is. That's what I always say. You know, that reminds me. We could play at that part of the game, though. Huh? Oh, you mean just call numbers from here? You mean, oh, you know what we could do as a thank you? Make up FFRC bingo cards and include those in thank you notes and have them all out there. And then some days say, you know, like in three weeks, oh, after, a bunch of, okay. after a bunch of cards have went out, that um, we play FFRC bingo for those that have a card. And then you have to, when you say bingo, then you have to send us a picture of the card. Thank you, Barry. And we could send them a little chocolate or something. Uh, are you stinky? Could you I step in something? I didn't even I know if you made this thing. So yeah, little. look at that. So the raffles go in. You have two ways of doing it, it looks like. Oh, Jack, this is just going to something. make it even better That's yet. That's fun. And it has one here, too. You can put individual little tickets what in. What are you doing? Well, she can select them. You wow. just pull this. You can do it this way. Oh, I see. Stick your hand in there. Uh-huh. Or you could also um, just open this and shake and leave one come out. But I think we could put no, our I hand in there. That's to put it in and then you turn it. Okay, oh, we need to do a raffle. Yeah, poor Barb, I know it. Oh, fine. It was at the airport. Bye. This is cool. Jack Hat, awesome, thank you. Is that a lock? Yes, Down and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it. How about taping it on the side? I think I can stick it in well, there. Uh, is it unlocked right now? Uh-uh, it's locked. Oh, okay, but I can get it out this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's one of our surgical, surgical instruments we just got. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clear a little space, but we can put it you in the storage the room. And, no, in the uh, storage like, room. I'll clear a space in there. We don't want to twirl it with that so we don't scratch cool. it. Isn't that neat? That's plenty big enough, too, That's for what we're enough. doing. Yeah, cool. Take key to the side when I get it out again, but I can't get it out. I promise <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> Actually, I have a cute little, um, oh, a little uh, bag, a tiny little bag we could put it in. Okay, what are you doing? Come on, I just think that that snack thing is so cool. We have to do that tonight. Okay, this one is from Susan. Three, four, five. Thanks, Jack. Yeah. Three, four, five. Susan. Oh, yes. Susan. Susan, three, four, five. Enjoy your gift from Susan. It's a Royal Cannon, a seven-pound bag. I thank you very, very much. 
And now that we have kitties in, our dry food, kitten food will go up again. Yep, we'll show you the babies. They're really, really cute. Yeah. Right, Joe Bear. Right. That's great. That's a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah. All right. So thank you for the dry kitty food. Always, always in need of. Thank you. Yep. And I'll probably put that in tomorrow. shopping for us and got um, some vinegar. vinegar. My hands are freezing. No. And bleach and a ham, a spiral ham, mm. so we can use it. <laughs> Jimmy's going to have some of the ham. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then they can have a ham bone as soon as we get that done. And uh, some pop, some diet pop and regular pop. Um, what else was in there? Did I miss something? Uh, oh, the appetizers. Oh, yeah, the appetizers for oh, the kitties, some, too. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank and you, Jane. Cream yeah, she's going to make us cream puffs and tomorrow. Chocolate covered well, strawberry. I don't think my clients make enough to <laughs> tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. <laughs> you better fall again. <laughs> you better oh, fall no. again? Heck no, I'm kidding. This box is also from Tiger Cat 54, who is great Aunt Julie. And this one does say from Iowa. You smell like the food. Yeah, we're going to take the paper. Put that in there and bring it out tonight. Oh, yeah. oh, you like your blankets, well, we don't you? Oh, we have stock up in oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, good, good. Oh. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I lost my, uh-oh, oh, here it is, Barb, I got it. Oh, you guys got this. This is, surely, I don't think anybody here is going to like this but me. I wouldn't bet on it. I think that I'm probably the only one that likes this. A oh. <laughs> hundred and five cups of uh, Reese's Miniature Peanut Butter Cups. I will share these, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I stick one in my pocket. 104, I mean. You know what? <laughs> Actually, we do have an airport in Defiance, but it's very, very dinky, very, very, very dinky, and it's used just to bring in supplies for different com companies around here. But you can't fly out as uh, like what we do here. Um, th uh, this is, if you guys like a peanut butter filled pretzel nugget, this Aunt Kirkland Anderson one is one of the best. Really good. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Julie. I'll have it with the Costco when I get home. Yeah, yeah. And we we'll don't know what's in here. It says, not so much Reese's, but you do. A gift from Julie. Not so much Reese's, but you do. Dad also liked his coffee. Oh, I bet you these are. But I, yeah, Dad preferred crackers, but I believe Steve liked these. Yeah, Julie did these for our people. Remember last week she did them for um, the animals in honor of her dad. Yeah, that's nice. Well, let's see what's in this one. 
Oh, it's all kinds of K-cups. Many, many kinds of K-cups. I thought we would never run out of these, and you guys have refilled us, though, lately, and we've used them. Salted caramel hot Ooh. cocoa. Oh, yum. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Julie had, uh, last week, sent us a bunch of different things, which the animals have been enjoying. Cayman coconut. Whoa. Gingerbread blend. Whoa. And so last week, and these are, are in honor of her dad, Donut Shop Blend, who loved uh, cats and all animals. And so this week is in honor of her dad, memory of her dad, but for the volunteers. Yeah, he, he must not like Reese's so much, but you do. Yes. Dad also liked his coffee. Yum. We, we go through a lot of these K-Cups for the volunteers. Dad preferred crackers, but I believe Steve likes those. Steve loves those. And... August? Uh-huh. Yep, that's all. He's out of his cubby. And this will put in the storage room, and I'll fill up that one that's back there. And check this out. Oh. Special K cracker chips. They're good. Sea salt, sour cream and onion, and Southwest Ranch. Yeah, these would be really sour good. Thank you, Julie. Appreciate good that. Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Very nice stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Fill these rooms? Um, yes, please. Party once on the um, Friday night, Mar Mary will be here okay. and she'll restock that. I'm sure she'll get those out. I'm so sorry, Bear. I kind of got you with this. Thank you, Julie. Okay. What'd you do to your eye there? All right, heads up, guys. Can't do that very Baby, do they have a, a pump that's in there? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. I'll still do a heat pad. Okay. Isn't that cool? That new warmer is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Beth yeah. yeah. got that for the kitties. This is from... No. Doesn't say. Oh, I think I know who this is from. Let me just double check on my file cabinet. And right here is Jackson, his brother. He's in the bottom circle there. The black bottom there sticking, yeah. This is from Vicki D. Vicki, I appreciate this. She's really helping us out with the baby. This is the baby cat, mother and baby cat, Royal Cannon. And uh, it's the first stages from one to four months. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bags of this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep. I know we should be a little more not so giving these out, but, you know, Polly comes and stares at us, and then Pania comes and stares at us, and they have a certain stare that says, I need my baby dry food, and this is what they want. Usually all we have to do is rattle the bag, rattle the bag. and there's about three of them that know it. And Magenta likes it, Adder Jane likes it, and of course we use it for all the baby kitties. Yep. And we probably should take a bag of this and put it on the counter in the back comfort room. For these babies. Okay. And then these will go in the um, on the counter in the storage room. You want to take one back in the back there? Dunkers. Dunkers. Dunkers, dunkers. And these go in the storage room. These go in the storage room. Yep. And then I'll rotate it tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is Thursday already. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vicki. Appreciate that. <laughs> We have a box here. It's from Susan L. from Oregon. 
And it says to Friends of Feline's Rescue Center for Coralie or anyone who needs a little more warmth in their life. Coralie is a black one. Oh. oh, you know what? This will be nice. I'll tell you why. This will be very nice. Heated, just plug it in. An extreme weather kitty pad, perfect for garages, barn sheds, or any outdoor shelter. But you can use these inside as well. For people. And for people. <laughs> You can sit on them. We, uh, because we have to conserve on our uh, propane, we turn down our mailroom furnace very low at night. And the mailroom furnace also regulates the back thumpers room. So sometimes it does get a little chilly in there. Yeah, this would be wonderful. Test your new bed. Plug in your new heated bed and place a pillow on it. Wait 20 minutes. Feel the warmth. We could plug this in and um, stick it under one of the rugs back there. I bet you they will find. Oh, you know who else would really like this too? And they can share it is uh, Thomas. That boy, he. He loves to come into the mail room, and we let him. We always are putting them, letting them come in. Well, he just comes in, and he will go over. He found the heater that we have in there under Lynette's desk, and uh, he sits there and just holds his chin up. <laughs> it's so cute. So he will like this oh, as well. Darling. Thank you. This is so nice. I appreciate this. Yeah, we'll show you Thomas and everybody. My girl. We'll take this out there tonight. Yes, my pretty girl. I'll just put this here for right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that'll hurt anything. I wanted to show you this box too. Okay, Sierra. Did you get our meds? I like to. Um, no, I haven't done any evening okay. meds yet. I gotta oh, do, right. do quite a few of them now. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, thanks to all of you. It's a small box, but it's worth a whole lot of wonderful things for us. Oh, do you remember that rule, Sunny Cat? Yeah, no cat will be allowed in the mail room. Oh, yeah, right. We do pretty good with it, though. Oh, what was the name of that? Name of that? K and H. K and H. These are something that I had ordered up at uh, our the OVMA conference. This is this company is where we get all of our surgical instruments from, and uh, these are the we got medicine bomb suture or scissors, the short bent suture scissors, Mayo scissors, and the Micro Friedman Ronger is to work with bones like what uh, she needed, and she borrowed it from her clinic when she Dr. Darcy worked on. Um, coral leaf, huh? and we've had we have had use for these at other times, and we've always had to remind her to bring them from from her clinic. So now we don't have to. I don't like to do that where we have to ask her to bring something from their vet clinic. I just don't do that. And these. I will use these a lot. We have one, and what's really nice is we always go with this grade. It's a very, very good grade, but what's nice about it is if anything goes wrong with any of them, even if it's a little nick in it, if they even get a tiny bit dull or whatever, we just send them up. We send them back, and actually I'm going to save this box because I have three instruments that go back, and they will either fix it to perfection or they will replace it 100% and that's all at free. 
So right. I've got, and, and the first thing they asked me when I walked up to their table, um, and I said, we've gotten all of our instruments from you guys. She said, do you need to send any back for repairs or sharpening? Oh, nice. And I said, yeah, it's your free still, right? And she said, oh, yes. So, and these we use a lot. These are our suture uh, removal scissors. And these are all because you, the donations you folks have helped us with have made these possible for us. And then these are wonderful scissors for specific things. These are wonderful too. Mm -hmm. Wow, these are really nice. So thank you. Yeah. Um, you deserve those, Jackie. Hmm? I said you deserve Well, them. our vets, you, you know, it's nice to, need them, you know. we need them, and it's nice to have what we need. This, uh, the company is Spectrum. Is that what you mean, Mudgy? These are all from Spectrum. To Rachel's oh, box? You want to go. You want to go. Uh-oh. Did I forget yeah. something, Mudgy? Spectrum. To Rachel's box. Oh, uh -oh. who opened that one? Is that our... I thought this was the big chips. Um, the butterfly. Yeah, yeah. Unless did I forget something? Oh, Beth asked about to Rachel's box. Oh, let me check. Let me check. I love these. Yes. Oh, that's one more. Um, Beth, are you on? Beth, Earth Watcher, are you on? There is a box here that came. Yeah, it did come today. It doesn't say to Rachel on it. I didn't. I. It just came actually just a little bit ago. Can I can go ahead and open that? Yeah, you're um, Fremont. Fremont must have left. Yeah, I can go ahead and open that. Was it that heating bed? Was it a bed or a pad? It's a pad, I guess. It's a, a heater pad. It's a heater pad with a little cushy over it. Does that help? <laughs> no, he's been naughty boy too. Yeah. Him and Walter he's both been on my naughty list today. Mm -hmm. Let me go get that, Beth. Oh, they don't believe me though. Oh. Like, oh. Oh, I believe you. <laughs> he's snorting. He's snorting. <laughs> <laughs> This is a derecho box. This is a derecho box. We got a tiger mm -hmm. Beth? Okay, Beth. Beth says yes, then we know what to do. Did you hear your name? Huh? Derecho. Is this your box? Is this your box? What did you do? We got white whiskers on one side and black whiskers on the other. And two different color eyes. Oops. We got three boxes. Three boxes in one. No. Okay. Oh. What is Rachel, it? Rachel, look at all that. Rachel, what have you been doing, dude? He's been on the internet ordering things. Have you been have Wait, you been talking you Beth into something? Oh. He says, "Oh, don't leave me alone here, buddy." Oh. <laughs> yeah. The first story is I dropped it down. That's my son Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hello. Hi. You can show. Is this 
what I think it is? It is. She's crying. You made her cry, girl. surgery table mm -hmm. and I said well we found three one of them was such and such and one was such and such and those were good and okay but I said oh my gosh I found one that I would really really like but I didn't I went back to that table four times and I just couldn't I couldn't do it because it just I couldn't spend that money and this is it Beth where are you I need you to hug you <laughs> tables where all the, the heaters were and uh, I said this is really nice and this is really nice but this one I can't get because I know it's not going to be worth the money because I just had done enough research I wasn't hum comfortable with it and then I said this one is okay and this is really where we should go and then we went and looked at this and this is the one I really wanted but I couldn't do it I just couldn't do it and uh, um, so I ended up leaving the show, not ordering anything. Beth, I wish you were here. I'd give you a big hug. I can't believe you did this. So what this is, is, um, I can't even think. It's, um, I even have this up. <laughs> I even have this up here because I've still been dreaming of it. This I got from the conference. It's thermal. Thermosure is conductive. It's a conductive heat. <laughs> Maybe that's this. Where's that box? Uh, this is because of Coral Lee. Um, we have had we had so much trouble keeping our temperature up um, during surgery. It got down to 95, and we could not get it up. And I was so afraid that day that we were going to lose her because I couldn't get her temp up. I tried everything that I could think of. Um, which, boy, I'm, I've got a whole batch of things we can try to get body temps up, and we just couldn't get it up. And um, that was when, you know, we always have to work at making sure that we can keep the temp up. And make hot dogs too, yeah. Beth, I don't know how you, I don't know how all this happened to be, but, this is awesome. This is this is really awesome. And what this is is it's conductive heat, and it's so simple. It's just hooked into this, and these beds. Oh my gosh! I think I'm shaking. Yep. It's um. The beds just hook up right here. This is the perfect size for our kitties, and. You can also use. Is this the next size yet? Yeah, this size. This is, I think I am shaking. <laughs> um, 
this is the next size, but you can also use this. This fits side to side on our surgery table, and you can also, in recovery, then pull this over, and uh, it just covers top and bottom then of the kitties, and um, it doesn't. It feels warm, but it's a very safe all-even heat. And it's made by the um, Bear Hug, B-A-E-R Hug. Well, it's, it's, it's one up from the Bear Hug, and that one's one of the top ranks. I just can't believe we got a hot dog. It goes up to um, 102 degrees, I think it is. So let's... Yeah, when when these and they're so so little, you know, our our um, kitties are so little when we do them, you know, they're two two and a half pounds, and uh, the fluid that we do all of our ster our disinfecting on their tummies it cools their body temps down, and um, it's this is just wonderful. Beth, I don't know how you knew all about this or a hot dog, because. I was with Annette, Lynette and um, Angie and Lynette, but you know I didn't think didn't think they really paid any attention to the specific yeah, brand. Well, this is it though. This is the one. This is the one that I was looking at. Yeah, this is what I brought home, and it's been hanging up there. Thank you, Beth. Jackie loves you, Beth. And not just because of this, just because we love you and you will help. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. Okay, I'm going to play tomorrow. Jen? Yep. I think I'm going to carry, carry the box back, back though, because of your hand. I mean, your hand. Your hand, barn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really <laughs> go this already. Oh, gosh. Boy, that derecho is an awful smart boy, isn't he? Yes, yes, Bo Peeps. Um, yes. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm just blown away. I, I'm going to be talking to Lynette. <laughs> um, yes, the, this can be used for non-surgeries. You know, just think how many of them that we get in here that are in such horrible condition and their body temps are so low. And this would be awesome. Um, this can be easily slid underneath. These beds will last a long, long time. <laughs> Rachel, we love you. Oh, gosh, Panda. Are you okay? I saw you fall. I wish you would stay low, girl. Yeah, these can be used for um, any kind of our our cat. We got a hot dog. That's what happened, Carol. <laughs> it's a it's a patient warming system, and it's awesome. If I could, I'd take this in and look at it all night. Thank you, Beth. I'm going to carry it in the back, and when I come up, I'll bring um, I'll bring the kitty cat with me. Okay, let me show you. Yep, it can still help for Coral Lee. Yep. Yeah, it has a lot of uses, and it's so easy. It's so easy, and that's what I liked about it. And um, the one was. When you ready? You want to I just ready? didn't want. I just didn't want to go with it at all.
Thomas, of course, he has just turned into this big old clown. I just have fallen madly in love with this boy. He did, unfortunately, have a seizure today. wasn't a big one, but definitely a seizure. And you can see he still has pink under his chin. He bit his tongue, and uh, he's still a little uh, hypersensitive. So I told him we would clean it up tomorrow. And um, oh yeah, um, Mudgy, will you catch that for me, please? Thank you, thank you. So um, we, I just happened to walk in the room, and the second I saw him, I knew he he had a seizure. His fur was all poofed all up, right. and his tail was up, and um, there was all blood right. on the floor, and he was still. <laughs> Having a few spurts, <laughs> you went down, don't you? Um, but it wasn't nearly as bad. And this is, we're just going to call this a breakthrough seizure. He went down, so we're going to let him down. Um, just a breakthrough seizure. Remember, the phenobarb that he's on takes like a month to get to a level that, a maintenance level. And then the other one that he's on, uh, it's usually in effect, full effect within a week. So he gets one of both of those drugs in the morning and one of both of those at night. And uh, the seizure he had before he came here, his last one before he came here was major. That was that one I called out to you all for thoughts and prayers for him because it was really bad and very long. But that's, I mean, he was to almost totally without any of his meds at that time. So we just have to build it up, and we will. He's he's a little stinker pot, getting all of his meds in. Sometimes he's real good, and sometimes it's like, I don't want that. And then I have to syringe him, and he doesn't like me to do that, but the medicine's going to get in him. So he started out the day, though, by um, being at the door. <laughs> he wanted in, and then, you know, we kept pushing him back, and 
telling me it wasn't time yet, that he could come up, but not yet. Well, then he started swishing out with our feet. And then he was in here, and he's been in here for probably a couple hours all together today. And he's also been in um, the mail room a lot today. He's been all over. He's almost as bad as what Patricia is. So he's really an awesome boy, and I expect to see him up here pretty soon. He's just, he is a true epileptic cat. You know, some seizures are caused by, like, tumors of the brain. Some are caused by an injury. He is a seizure cat. He just was born that way, and that's how he is. Yeah, it takes time to build up, but, yep, we'll get him back up there. And um, so it happens, and I'm not, we're not discouraged by any means. And you know what? If if these continue, if the, if it would continue, even after we're out, uh, at our month of uh, the PBs being in him, there is still a third medicine that is a very, very compatible with the first two that he takes that we can still add into that. So we don't want to have to do that. I, I always like to go with minimum amount of meds. But if we need to add something, we have still meds in reserve that we can use. So um, while Fair is here, let me do hers. You still need the question. You still need Excuse me. You know, and the other reason, too, that we aren't just bringing um, Thomas up here and just leaving him up here all day is I want a little more time with him back there to monitor him and uh, watch him. Uh, because before he would have these little, and I don't know what to call them, these little episodes. And we saw it the very first night that he was here. He got a little stressed, and he goes over on his back, and all paws are up, and he just does this horrible scream, and he's out of control. And um, it's almost like, where did Thomas go? You know, it's just, it just was very <sighs> scary to see it, almost. But with a couple towels, I was able to get him back into where I wanted him at. And he settled down, and then he was fine. He has not done that at all since that very first night. And so I just want more routine with him before we bring him up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. Yes, yes. Yep, Eric's son. Yeah, sensory overload sometimes. Oh, yeah, you're going to see the babies. Oops. Yeah, it is. It was almost like a panic attack thing, but the, the the vocal that goes with it is unbelievable. Yeah, and if it happened a while, if when he does come up here, if it would happen at night or something, the mods would hear and they would call me, and I would come out. Okay, so the mods would the mods would take care of it. Okay, well let's take our little fella back wherever he's he back there, followed by Black Kitty. Here, Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Don't reach out. Stop. I'll never get out of here. I'll never get out of here if you look at me like that. No. Say no. Stop. Stop.
the left there. Isn't that cool? Ooh. It's a Jimmy feeder. <laughs> so here's Elma. Elma, she is a tough cookie. You know, it's a shame that these kitties have to have the CH, but if they do, and the ones that come our way, we're going to do everything within our possibilities of uh, helping them. So we're helping her um, get a little bit stronger in the legs. Remember, she was in that pen for three, almost three months before we got her, and that was only because they had to. She she was turned in, relinquished to a um, to a veterinary hospital, and that's where they had to keep her for her safety too, until um, they were able to find a home for her. No sniffing, that's not nice. So she's not very big. She is a year old. She's very tiny, and uh, Vera, <laughs> you're bothering her. I can feel your tail hitting her and me. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, she doesn't have a whole lot of muscles yet, but we're we're building them up. So as you know, Jimmy, Jimmy uh, made the cart for her, and we did use it this morning. Some we're having a little trouble with that thunder shirt. It's it's okay, but it's not the perfect thing for her. But um, Pat is busily working on something she's trying to tweak to work um, for her. It's okay, honey. I know you get overstimulated, too. Oh, that's what. Quit sniffing, you guys. There we go. So uh, it's been thrilling to see her get in a litter box all by herself. I ate. And she eat. I'm yeah, I can yeah. feel her wet. <laughs> She's wet here. I need to wipe her off. Yeah. Many times a day, the volunteers hold her up and um, have her get on her tippy toes to start putting weight on all four legs. And many times a day, they stand her up beside her water and dry food bowl so she can eat in a normal position. And then we... Um, thank you, just me, for putting that up there. And then um, she does eat her canned food a lot, just laying on her side. But she's not able to get up all on her four legs. So she kind of lunges and spurts um, to get where she's going. But by golly, she does. She loves the toys uh, with the balls in it, the track balls. Oh, my gosh, she goes crazy with them. She'll play and play and play. I know, you're getting nasty. She's kind of a little like um, Walter in that where uh, it's hard to be held. Yeah, but she's wonderful. She's She has come a long way since she's been here. I remember when she first came, she didn't want to even be held. And yeah, and now look, we've, what about this, five minutes since I picked you up maybe? Yeah. Now oh, she'd be so tired. From being, being held, held up, up. yeah. Yep. So she's doing better and better. Yeah. And uh, uh, somebody just said we need to trim her nails, but we don't trim her nails. I mean, we'll keep them within reason. But she uses her nails. She'll pull them out. And like if a water bowl is on a rug and she's thirsty, she'll pull it towards her. And I've seen her do that with toys as well. You are going to have a blast in here. She would be one I could see where we would put her in the <laughs> uh, play <laughs> the playpen a lot too. No, mm -mm, no pain, no. Nope. And she's in her head. She's a normal girl, right? All right, let's go get your friend. <laughs> what are you eating, Seymour? Let's take this with us. Hi, how's your eye? Huh? How's 
your eye. Where are you going? Good to see you, Jack's mom. Same time as yesterday, bright and early. Nine o'clock is when my plane leaves, but I have to leave a little bit earlier because I need some extra assistance. You know, Goldfinch, I never heard the story on that. I was walking in the door and they were starting to creep them. So you're going to have to ask Jackie. Yes, I had a fall. Sprain my left arm. Better left than right. She's very interesting. Here is Coralie. We are Pink Pony. Even you. I love this kitty. Kitty, I love her eyes. <laughs> She's good, Yankee Chuck. She's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, little Tigger. <laughs> Well, Coralie's doing really good. Um, no fever. She's eating real good. We put her in the box. She potties. She comes out. We figured out a really cool, one of those corrugated cardboard trays we put in front of her pen. She doesn't have very many claws left um, because of the frostbite, but she's got enough that she can pull on that corrugated cardboard. So we've got that figured out for the very, see now this was done Monday. This is just two, Wednesday, isn't it? Gee whiz. Wow. Well, Tuesday, um, she had a little trouble, I noticed, getting into her bed. And uh, so we put that corrugated tray there in front of it. And so she would get on that and then from there get into her pen to get into her bed that she loves so much but she had trouble getting into her bed and today we both noticed um, two of us was standing back there because we we try to leave her do things by herself as you know we do that with our, all of our kitties if they can do it we want them to be able to do it yeah she's going to have her heat her bed um, but we noticed today when she decided it was time to get back in her bed, she just zipped up there on the corrugated tray into her pen, and poof, she was in her bed much, much quicker. So she's, it just is going to take a little while to figure it out. It's not like she's out and about back there. Um, that one toy that is like an S has space under here that, um, uh, Alma likes so well. She likes it too now. She goes underneath it. Oh. Oh, you did. Oh, Pat, that's awesome. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Was that? No, Tanya and Seymour. I'm sure she got involved. I think Seymour snuck up on Tanya and started. Will you hug um, yeah. Seymour? Seymour, come here, buddy. Pat, thank you for, for passing that on to the lady who actually is the one who found her. Oh, yeah. She still got her patch on. It's right here. This will come off um, This will come off tomorrow morning, and I'll put one over here on the other side. And she's also getting two other different kinds that are compatible with this one as she needs it. And then um, uh, tonight she will get one, too. Yeah, you know, not every cat could do what Coralie has done and come through it with such a good personality. Yeah, it's just wonderful. Yeah, You're pretty cool, aren't you? And we just want her to be a cat. I mean, we just want her to, to enjoy life. Yeah, you'll be up here soon enough, won't you? 
Dr. Erica was really good and very, very conscientious about where, uh, no, she, Tiger Cat, she doesn't have any, either one of her back legs now. She lost because of frostbite. And it's so sad to think that a cat had to be that cold to have lost so many parts. I mean, she's lost her ears. We're still working on her chin. She's lost half of her tail, numerous toes, claws, and then her legs, two of her legs. I know. I know. Bless that lady. Yeah. Hey, Pat. Pat Cat, if she would ever want to come over and see her, I would love to have her visit. Oh, to bring her and her granddaughters visit. Oh, I would love that, Pat Cat. Yeah. If she's going to bring her great granddaughters, maybe give us a little more time with Coralie to get a little bit stronger and um, more mobile. And then that, that way it m might be easier for them, too. Yeah, you're, it was so bad weather. That storm was so bad. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll take her back. Gee, are there any others that we need to show? I don't know. Are there <laughs> any others? These funny things were here when I got back to the <laughs> You know, what are those things? I've never seen them before. Yeah, we'll go get some kitty cats Are they for you. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> All right. Uh, you want to help carry you too? All right, team, are you over it? Whoops, whoops, don't go with the first thing. What's going on? Uh, we're going to take her back and bring the kids. Wait for the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but that might be hard but she's much lighter in color mm -hmm. and then this one is the only boy that's golden white and this is all gold tiger and this is all gold tiger but definitely long hair mm -hmm. so long hair gold tiger short hair gold tiger the boy with um, gold and white girl with gold and white but you can see the difference and she's pretty pale color and they're nice and I must say these guys came in very healthy um, no ear mites no fleas their body weight is good they're nine weeks old their birthday is December 31st and um, we told him about the mommy you know, I told them that normally I never take kitties in without the mommies being spayed first. They were in a bit of a desperate situation, so I told them I was, I was depending on them that they had to get mommy spayed and that we would cover the bill for it as part of our program that we want to try to do a little bit. Oh, I'm out of the picture. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. This one wants to crawl up my back. Yeah, I, I think they're all shoulder holders. Okay. So one of these days, these, get, these babies will all be... Of course I want the long-haired ones. <laughs> I love my long-haired kitties. Yeah, and you know, they've only been here less than 12 hours, and so it is kind of scary. They lost their home and their mommy, and you guys will be just fine, though. When did they arrive? Um, must have been... 11 this morning. 10 30, 11. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, I think I feel a little fur. What are you, what are you crying about, honey, buddy? It's okay. You're going to be just fine. So, ten, nine weeks old, three whips. They are cuties. You want to say hi? They've had their first vaccine already. Tomorrow they're going to get another one. Yeah. What? I'm not sure what that was about. I don't know if they were playing. Okay, we're going to take them back. Thank you for sharing these with us. Or thank you for sharing with us in the joy of having the kitty. Yep. Yeah. Weakness for long haired. <laughs> if we're lucky, this is the only long haired kitty we'll get all year. And I don't have to resist. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to resist. I doubt that. Okay, but. there you go. Here he is. Finally. I get to be seen. These kitties will get some of the catathon names because I haven't used all of them yet. You're very welcome. Long-haired. Mm 